I speak unto thee this day, and I say, so it is in the days of old, that I will have been God instructed my people to learn not the ways of the heathen. And I say that same application remains this day, for when my people take up the learning of the ways of the heathen, they depart from me. And I say they take to themselves customs, traditions, that are indeed evil before me because they teach offerings, they teach oblations to other gods. And I say they teach my people rituals that symbolize the gods of darkness and evil, and they are not of me at all. Therefore I say this day do not think that you must indeed learn the culture, the tradition of heathen, and will benefit from the same. For I say that those things are nothing but darkness, and I say why should you want to learn of those who are indeed damned? That is, why would you want to learn their ways when their ways will only entice you away from me? And I say why would you want to take up those things that are considered madness before me? Now I say this day that I will have been God to intend that the ones who are my people would learn of me. That is, that they would be thankful each day to partake of the truth, the light, the strength that I give, because indeed they are mine. I say that I never intended that my own people would engross themselves in learning the ways of the heathen and likewise grow weak and feeble in their relationship unto me. But I say that my people are meant to learn of me, to love me, to partake of me each and every day. Now I say this day that I the living God do call thee to walk uprightly. I say that I call thee to be thankful that it is me that you serve. For I say that you will continue in the way of truth and light, the way of mercy and hope that I provide that you are ever guided by me. And yes, you are given the instruction, the direction, the correction that can only be found through me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is caring for you as you are caring for me. Now I say that I, the living God, am calling all men to repent, and that means despite their tradition, their culture, and the false gods that they have served. That is, my people are not meant to come along and make allowances for those of other traditions, other cultures, in preaching and teaching the call to repent. But I say that my people are meant to stay steadfast in the commission that I desire and require not bowing to demon gods, nor giving way to the pressure of culture and tradition that is nothing but demonic bondage. But I say that the truth must go forth that those are in, who are entrapped, ensnared, and entangled in culturism and traditionalism must come out of the same. That is, they must repent, they must turn from the darkness, the evil traditions, and walk uprightly in me. For I say, if men do not repent, if they do not turn from the sins of their fathers, then I say they are cursed and likewise damned in the same. Therefore I say it is imperative that you do not be threatened by culture, by tradition, but you declare, declare, declare the truth that I ordain. For I say it is only to repentance that all men will be found abiding in me. I say this day be thankful that I, the living God, am the one who does give to men the opportunity to repent. For I say there are many who are steeped in tradition and culture that is nothing but demonic oppression and darkness, evil and wickedness, and they are bound in the same. That is, they are under the curses because their fathers went abhorring from me. And I say, because they strayed from the knowledge of me as the one true God, I say they took on all manner of invention and crafty deceit, and yes, they are damned in the same. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is looking beyond what it is that men are bound in, into the agony of their souls. And I say it is me, the living God, who is giving forth the call in the spirit for all men everywhere to repent. That is, for men to come into the knowledge of me through repentance, to come into the understanding of my way. For I say, when a man will truly desire me and cry out unto me, then I say, it is me, the living God, who can transform such a one. Therefore I say, do not doubt what I'm able to do by the power of my spirit and who it is that I'm able to call forth. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed well able to call men from every nation, kindred, and tongue. And it is me, the living God, who is indeed well able to call men out of that which is iniquity into the glorious light of who I am. And I say, it is me, the living God, who is well able to redeem. Therefore, I say, keep your hope ever stayed upon me, keep your confidence in me, and be ever thankful for my way. 
that is, be thankful for the way that I offer, the way of repentance, revolution, the way of rejecting the evil of these present times. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, am the one who can thoroughly cleanse anyone who will subject themselves unto me. For I say, there is nothing impossible with me, for I say that I am indeed well able. Now I say, there are many who are indeed in great anguish, great suffering, and great sorrow because of what it is that they believe. That is, because they believe the lies, the crafty inventions, the fabricated tales that have been passed down as their traditions, I say they are hopelessly bound in the same. But I say that it is me, the living God, who is well able to go beyond the walls of their isolation and call them forth in me. And it is me, the living God, who is indeed well able by the power of my spirit to supersede all of the culture, the traditions of men. Therefore, I say this day, do not be stopped in the declaration, in the call to repentance, revolution, for I say it is indeed the missionary call. That is, that all men throughout the earth must know that I am the I am. That is, that they must indeed understand that it is unto me that they need to repent. For I say they are guilty before me, for I say their fathers transgressed, and they are likewise under the curse of the same. And I say that they need the forgiveness that can only be found through me. Therefore I say this day be all the more zealous to proclaim who I am to a sin-sick, a dying, a perishing world. And I say do not be stopped by those things that keep men bound, but I say give them the truth nonetheless. For I say when you will indeed proclaim to all men their need to repent, to come in to me to thoroughly amend and change their ways, I say there will be those who will hear and obey. And I say that they will be brought out of, out of generations of culture, of tradition, of darkness, and into the glorious light. For I say it is me, the living God, who is well able. It is me, the living God, who can indeed set men free. Therefore I say this day be thankful to serve me with enthusiasm, with gladness, because I am thy God. And I say be thankful that I bring thee forth in the truth, the light, the strength, the blessedness day by day. That is, be thankful that through me so are you given the truth and the light upon the path. For I say it is me, the living God alone, of all the gods who is able, keep your trust, your faith, your confidence ever in me. For I say that I, the living God, will indeed show forth my mighty arm revealed. I will show forth my power, my strength, my glory unto those who believe. And I say, the more that you are looking unto me in faith and trust and confidence, the more that you see the power of my way. For I say that it is me, the living God, you are meant to look to beyond the circumstance. And I say it is me, the living God, you are meant to believe, for I am indeed well able. I say this day that I, the living God, do indeed crave to see men and women repentant. I say that I long to see them come into my fold. That is, to be protected from the impending damnation that will be theirs if they do not repent. For I say it is a joy unto me when men will repent and turn from even generations of darkness and embrace fully the glorious light. For I say it is me, the living God, who does offer redemptive mercy unto all who will believe and trust in me. Now I say this day when you see a soul that is truly redeemed because they have repented unto me, I say, be thankful for the same. That is, be thankful that indeed it is me, the living God, who is the way of truth and life, mercy and hope and peace provided. And I say, be thankful that I will instruct, direct and correct the ones who cleave to me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. Now I say this day, be glad that I give to thee the privilege to continue, that I give to thee the way wherein you can walk in my life. And I say, be thankful that I am indeed, that I am God, the one that all men are meant to bow unto. For I say that the traditions, the cultures that have esteemed other gods are nothing but rebellion against me. And I say, no matter how much blinded fools may defend the same, I say there is no defense for rebellion. Now I say you are living in time when the rebellers, the ones who are hating my way, have taken up the traditions, the cultures of the heathen, and oh, how much they spout the glory of the same. 
but I say they are blinded fools who are damning themselves and others likewise. For I say you are not meant to go into darkness in order to learn of the light, but I say you are meant to come into the light and learn of me. I say this day be thankful that you are not steeped and bound and tied by tradition, but you are indeed made free in me. That is, free to love me, to serve me, to obey me, and come forth in my way. And I say, be thankful that each and every day you can be found abiding in me. That is, abiding in the truth, the light, the strength that I provide, because it is me who is able. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to be dulled. I do not call thee to be dumbed, but I say that I call thee to be ever enlightened in me. That is, coming forth each and every day in the way that I give thee, the way of eternal life. And I say that I call thee to know what it is to serve in the attitude of gratitude always. Because it is me you are meant to seek, to please, to love, to follow after, and obey. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that I've given unto thee the privilege to be redeemed, that I've given unto thee the way of eternal life. And I say, be thankful that when it is me that you will be loving, seeking to please and following after you are ever guided for by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the hope, because it is me the living God who is the life source. It is me the living God who is indeed the spirit of all truth. And I say, when men will cleave to me, I say they will see the error of tradition and culture and have no desire for the same. But I say, when men have eyes full of adultery, I say they will crane the neck, they will strain the eye, and seek to learn the ways of the heathen. I say it is stupidity, it is dumbness, it is darkness to return to that which is damnation, when you could indeed come forth in that which is salvation. That is, when you could be found as a repentant people, coming forth in repentance, revolution, each and every day and declaring to the heathen, the darkened, the sin-sick, the perishing, their need to repent unto me. For I say you do not need to learn the ways of the heathen to present me unto them, but I say you simply need to learn of me, and be able to declare me as I am to each and every culture, nation, and tribe that I ordain. Now I say this day, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful to be set free through me. That is, be thankful that you do not need to return <clears throat> the heathen darkness and think you will somehow scrape by in that so I say when you return to chains, to bondage, to oppression and imprisonment, you are returning to death. But I say when you come forth in the newness of light that I provide, you will of course be uplifted, directed and ever guided by me. I say this day be thankful for the truth, the light that I give, be thankful for the way that I provide, which is the straight and narrow way that leads to eternal life. And I say be thankful that I do not encumber thee with excess baggage, which is indeed culture and tradition, but I give thee the newness of life through repentance that can only be found through me. It's time to repent. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people that 
their transgression, the house of Jacob their sin. The times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent.